and welcome back to Echo Base Network. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Breaking news, Star Wars Rogue Squadron delay reportedly due to creative differences. Everybody knew about the Patty Jenkins Star Wars movie Rogue Squadron. We were really looking forward to that. Maybe. It's kind of, of a maybe for us. Had the potential to be really good, but setting is probably the most important question concerning that movie. What era of Star Wars movie was it going to be? Well, now the movie was delayed indefinitely. We talked about that just the other day. What does that mean? That means Lucasfilm will make the, make the movie when they're good and ready, if ever. That's what the word indefinitely means. Well, now it comes out just a few hours ago that there was actually creative differences between Lucasfilm and Patty Jenkins. So we're going to dig into this article over at Screen Rant. If you'll stay for the conclusion of the article, I'll offer my own opinion here at the very end. And let's go ahead and dive right in. The indefinite delay to upcoming Star Wars film Rogue Squadron is reportedly due to creative differences between Lucasfilm and filmmaker Patty Jenkins. After a mixed response to 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, the Disney-owned production company has been focusing on creating multiple Star Wars TV series for Disney+. The next of these to hit the streaming service will be The Book of Boba Fett, which will lead on from events of The Mandalorian Season 2 and is scheduled for release in December. Despite the shift in direction, Multiple Star Wars spin-off films have been proposed in recent years, including a Top Gun-esque fighter pilot action film from Wonder Woman director Jenkins. With an initial release date in December 2023, the film was set to be the first in the franchise directed by a woman, and earlier in the year it was confirmed that a script was almost complete. However, it was recently announced that Rogue Squadron has been indefinitely delayed with Disney removing it from the release calendar. Now, in the latest edition of his newsletter, former THR editor Matthew Baloney reports that the delay is due to creative differences rather than any scheduling conflicts. Baloney suggests that the director came into conflict with the studio over the film script and states that Jenkins was unwilling to dick around. The report also indicates that disagreements between the filmmakers and the Star Wars studio producers are becoming worryingly frequent under the management of Kathleen Kennedy. Check out some of Baloney's comments. He says, The real culprit was the dreaded creative differences. Specifically, Jenkins could not agree on the script with Lucasfilm executives. That's not unusual, of course, but it's a laughably recurring problem at Lucasfilm under President Kathleen Kennedy, says agents. Top filmmakers are dying to make a Star Wars movie until they sign on and experience the micromanagement and plot by committee process. Jenkins wasn't willing to dick around. And she has other projects, notably Wonder Woman 3 at Warner Brothers, where she enjoys more creative freedom. News of the delay might not come as a surprise to Star Wars fans, who will have become used to films being announced and then dropped. Game of Thrones creators David Benioff and D.B. Weiss were at one point lined up to helm a new Star Wars trilogy, but their plans never came to fruition. Similarly, Ryan Johnson's planned Star Wars trilogy has also seemingly been abandoned. Even The Rise of Skywalker struggled with creative differences when its original writers and director Colin Trevorrow had to be replaced by J.J. Abrams due to disagreements over the film's script. The delay to Rogue Squadron means that there are currently no upcoming Star Wars films with a definite release date. However, Jenkins' movie did get further along in the pre-production than any other shelf Star Wars films, even releasing an official Star Wars Squadron teaser. Fans will still hope that there is enough work done to the film to ensure that it's eventually released, even if Jenkins doesn't go on to helm the project. Regardless of whether Rogue Squadron ever hits the big screen, the frequent cycle of disagreements with Lucasfilm could certainly indicate that there are significant issues for the future of Star Wars films. Now guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was kind of meh on the Rogue Squadron movie. At first I was very excited about it, and then I realized that the movie could be in the sequel trilogy era. No one really knew the official setting for the movie. If it was sequel trilogy era, they might as well go ahead and can it. Who knows why this movie has been canceled? We don't know. All we know right now, and I'm talking about from my own perspective here, is that we're getting great Star Wars live action shows as far as The Mandalorian is considered, we assume that The Book of Boba Fett and Ahsoka will also be great. But as far as cinematic releases go, Disney has by and large been a great failure with Star Wars movies. 
Rogue One, in my opinion, is the only good Star Wars film that we have gotten. I know that a lot of people like Solo, and the people that like the sequel trilogy, I get it. I'm glad that you like it. I don't. But guys, I, you know, we're in a situation where it is critical. Every decision being made at Lucasfilm is critical. And if we're going to get a Star Wars film, it better be great. Now, we don't know why it's being canceled. One could certainly say or assume that maybe Lucasfilm is wanting more political agenda involved. Definitely, definitely have reasons to believe that. But you could also go the more optimistic way and assume, well, maybe Lucasfilm canned it because it wasn't going to be very good. They they weren't bought into the project. And you know what? They can go ahead and say, you're on the team. Make us a Star Wars movie. Write your script, and we're doing this. And then when they get it, you know, no harm, no foul. This just isn't good enough. I'm sorry. We're going to have to part ways. And uh, we're not going to we're not going to say that you're fired. You can just leave and say that we had, uh, you know, our differences, our creative differences. Anyways, guys, I don't know how you feel about it. Let me know in the comments. Is this huge disappointment for you? Not really for me. Um, you know, I, we're going to get another Star Wars movie eventually, and all I know is it better be great. It better be something that the fandom will get behind. And if it's not, don't make it. I don't care how far along you get in the process. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, I am the coach for Nick. We are, you are, Echo Base Network. We will see you at 3 o'clock p.m. for our regular released Star Wars, uh, Star Wars videos that we come out with Monday through Friday. And then we'll see you on Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time for our weekly Star Wars show. We will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching our video today. And we would like to give a special thank you to all of our members. You make what we do here at Echo Base Network possible. And we appreciate you more than we could ever explain. If you haven't already, join the best Star Wars community on YouTube today here at Echo Base Network. And we appreciate your consideration. As always, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you, and we'll see you on the next one.